allowing yourself to know right now that direction I'm going to go down there and see what's under that leaf and I'm going to spend time with that and maybe that sends me on a whole different path. I had never thought about bees ever. When I was 18 I read a book it's sitting over there on the bookshelf and um, I just got hooked in. I just thought bees were so amazing so I went to work for a commercial beekeeper to learn more. The lesson that I actually try to teach my students is ambiguity is the key. You need to embrace it. It actually exists in every single degree, whether it's electrical engineering or English. Students, I think, really need to be active participants in the learning process. So students that come and just expect the teacher to dump information into their head and then for them to memorize it and give it right back, I don't really think that's a very good learning model. There's only a few students that really learn, the, that learn well that way. Great artists, great scientists, great architects, great thinkers in those fields, there's a lot of similarity in what they talk about. I'm making dances because I have questions to answer or emotions that I'm trying to resolve or personal experiences. And so they help me wrestle with the, the unknowing of this human experience. I've been allowed to do more creative things than I might have been able to do at a different institution. So I've been supported for the work that I've done with beekeepers and work that I've done, basic research, laboratory research, molecular research that I've done. So I'm, I've been supported and rewarded for both of those facets of research and outreach. Dance is a way of knowing the world. When I encounter someone in a dance class and I lift them up, I know them in a way that no 10-hour conversation can ever fill in the blanks for. Them. I hold them in my arms and I can feel their weight and I can feel where they're holding themselves. There's an amazing amount of communication in a handshake and as a dancer I see that. I see how the text and story of people is written across their body. When you keep bees, uh, you become much more aware of the environment. For example, you become aware of the pesticide application in the environment and how that might affect your bees. And you become much more aware of the flowering plants. So my idea is just to increase awareness, continue increasing awareness about the importance of bees and how they link to our food system and our environmental health and many other things. As a dancer, I have become an expert in that idea of knowing the world through the lens of the body. And when I say body, I mean mind and body.